Hello, Internet. My name is Steve. Welcome to Rayfo. Now, last week, we talked about the seven different planets that we've gotten stories on in the Cosmere. Since then, I got a lot of comments from people in reference to Cell, what I called the safest planet. Well, it's true that the planet of Cell is fairly safe. Getting to Cell is extraordinarily dangerous because of a huge amount of power stuck in the cognitive realm. Now, if you're new to the Cosmere, you may be wondering, what the heck is a cognitive realm? And that is what we're going to talk about today. So welcome to Realmatic Theory for Dummies. You're not a dummy. You know I don't think that. You're great. You're beautiful. Please keep watching my videos. So the Cosmere is made up of three separate realms. These three realms aren't different layers of a world. It's not like the physical realm is a boat and the cognitive realm is the ocean. Everything in each realm has a manifestation in the other realms. Now, I've thought a lot about the best way to explain these realms, and I've come up with this. The Cosmere is a video game. Go with me on this. We talked a lot about the physical realm, which is where most everything in the Cosmere books happens. People walking around, interacting with other people, picking up things, seeing specific places, physical stuff. The physical realm is basically what you see on screen. You've got your player character, you've got all the non-player characters, and everything that you interact with in the game is the physical realm. While you're playing the video game, you are in a specific place, your game clock is running. Then there's also the spiritual realm. We don't really know a lot about the spiritual realm at this point, but presumably it's where your spirit is. Now the spiritual realm is like the electricity that powers the game. Electricity is not a single point in space. It's not a single point in time. It permeates the entire system. And without electricity, the game simply wouldn't work. And who knows? Maybe when Mario falls into a pit of lava, that Mario goes to a fancy electrical afterlife. <laughs> There's also the cognitive realm. This is where basically the minds of things manifest themselves, which if you've read any of the Stormlight Archive is called Shadesmar. Shades. The cognitive realm is like the game code underneath. Everything that occurs on the screen of the game is because the code said that could happen. Just like anything that occurs in the physical realm is because your mind said, yes, you should do that. Now, just like a video game, there are certain things in the cognitive realm that would allow you to do something different from what you would normally see. Basically, there are glitches that you can exploit. Which means anyone using magic in a Cosmere world, Kelsier, Kaladin, Kenton, what's with the K names, Brandon? Vasher, Rayodin, cheating. Just like a game code is really different from the actual game, the cognitive realm has some huge differences from the physical realm as well. Land masses and bodies of water in the cognitive realm are basically reversed. Where there's a continent in the physical realm, there's an ocean in the cognitive realm. Where there's a pond in the cognitive realm, there's an island in the physical realm. And depending on the world that you're on, things will look different. We've gotten a glimpse of the cognitive realm of Scadrial, and what is landmass there becomes sort of a mist on Roshar. The physical landmass there becomes an ocean of spheres. In the cognitive realm, because space itself has been bent, the spherical worlds of the Cosmere have been flattened. That means interplanetary travel is entirely possible. At this point in the history of the Cosmere, there isn't a wide conception of space as really a thing. So because no one's thinking about it, and the cognitive realm is made up of people's minds and thoughts, the massive space between inhabited worlds becomes minuscule. Comparing it to Earth, rather than having to get on a rocket ship with Elon Musk and go to Mars, we could just walk there. For example, on Roshar, if you go this way in Shadesmar, you'll hit Cell. If you go this way, you'll end up at Scadrial. This way for Nalthus. This way for somewhere else. Relative north and south will get you to the other planets in the greater Rosharan system. That's not the only difference between the cognitive and physical realm. There are things that exist in the cognitive realm without being in the physical realm. In the game, it's possible to find hidden areas that are outside of the playable area through going into the game code. You're going through the cognitive realm. You might not be in the game world at all anymore, but your game clock is still running. We know specifically of one country that exists solely in the cognitive realm, Silverlight. Don't know a lot about it, 
but it's got at least one university, so it's smart. Now, going into specifics about the cognitive realm can get kind of spoilery, I'll warn you. Because the physical realm and cognitive realm are so different, there are also different dangers depending on where you are in the cognitive realm. We haven't even met them yet, but I know I would never want to run into an anger spren. The cognitive realm of Cell is incredibly dangerous. You'll encounter a giant raging plasma storm called the Door that will just tear you to shreds. We'll talk more about what the Door is next week. Which means although Cell is the safest planet in the Cosmere, the cognitive representation is probably the most dangerous place you can get. So, to sum up, everything has a body, mind, and spirit. A stick will know it's a stick and will be a stick spiritually. Your player character has a specific set of game code, which is powered by electricity. Thank you again for watching. As always, please subscribe so you're notified for my next week's video. If you want to learn more about the Cosmere or Brandon Sanderson, check out other videos that I've done. If you have more questions about realmatic theory and the cognitive realm, I suggest going back to Oathbringer or Mistborn Secret History. There, if you have any other questions, you can read and find out.